So, hi guys, welcome back to Hit Pointed. My name is Reval. Today we're going to be continuing with our playthrough in Patch 1.4.0. And I've actually been playing in my free time. I've been playing over the weekend, and I've been grinding it up a bit. I've tried to use the exploit to just uh, deal with the grind, uh, just like that. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I kept on making two-handed weapons that were around 1k of value, but still that gave me a, quite a profit. I uh, brought in quite a little bit of money. So, and I've also noticed that I was simply enjoying myself uh, grinding the old-fashioned way by no exploits and just uh, making moolah. So I'm just going to show you exactly where we're currently at with the playthrough. And from here on out, we're not going to do anything else offline. Well, I'm not going to do anything else offline. I uh, just wanted to fix up what's already present and make it run better. And then it's weird burst rendering tendencies that make lag spikes. Thank you. Hey, my wife brought me some apples. Um, also, there's no mean to set in stone. They'll do anything after, but we do not know, so it's pointless to argue about that. Indeed. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm currently in Sanala in the south. We only have 14 men. As you can see, we have 28k, so I've been uh, making money. We've made a lot of tournaments, so I am fully equipped. We have Farim of the Wastes, uh, who's our scout. We got Sacha the Swift, who's our quartermaster. And I found Rayma the Wanderer, which we're going to be making into a caravan master. Um, afterwards, we're going to go back in northern territories, keep on making cash, and most likely increasing our army up to 20 men, 25, around that ballpark. As we all know, we're, um, they're itching for the, st for the stable version. Everybody's itching for the stable version. And everybody's itching for the mod tools. Anyway, um, I haven't done much, just been grinding the levels. I'm also going to show you the character real quick. There we go. Uh, grinding the levels, um, because we simply fought consistently, we've increased a little bit in stats. Um, I've selected the next strong arms perk on the second tier of one-handed, and just been increasing the rest a little bit up. Um, also, I found a very cool new thing. Um, the looters are non-lethal again. At least on patch 1.4.0, looters are non-lethal, so you can auto-resolve the battles. Even though I didn't, I did not auto-resolve the battles. I had quite a lot of fun beating looters up. It was cool. So, that's it. Now, I'm finally going to be able to take a walk around the town center and create a new caravan. So, that's going to be cool. Uh, gives you a bad feeling that the list is so basic, but that could just be me. I think it's just you, HD0. Um, what me and HD0 were discussing was the um, priorities list that Tales Ward uh, released. With their plans of the game, uh, they seem to be pretty basic and straightforward as in improving already what's existing within the game. And I'm okay with that. And most likely, once they improve and stabilize the entire game, they're going to be adding extra content afterwards. HD0, um, HD0 is a little bit uh, worried that they're not going to be doing anything else. I'm not. I'm pretty positive they're going to be doing extra stuff. Hello, Degman. Welcome back to the end. Uh, they know they made looters non-lethal. That's good. Yeah, yeah, they did it. Um, it wasn't mentioned in the patch notes, but they, they're non-lethal again. Uh, at least you confirmed armor crafting will be in, so that's nice. It was kind of obvious that they were going to be armor crafted because there were perks in the smithing tree that mentioned armor. Hey, Therun. Uh, I don't have a kingdom, no. Actually, gives a good feeling as that means they'll actually have realistic priorities, which means we get more reliable fixes. Indeed. Indeed, we do, Big Bap. Also, Venom Assault, welcome back to the end. Uh, no, I don't have a kingdom. I just grinded for money and gear from tournaments so um from here on out we're just going to be building everything from scratch huh. hmm okay so plans for today we need to build caravans and workshops 
we're going to compare the 15k caravan and the 22k caravan. And I'm also going to be assigning, as a caravan master, Raima the Wanderer. She doesn't have trade at all, but I want to see how rapidly she will gain trade via the caravanry. Also, another reason why I'm putting Rayma the Wanderer is because she has 80 into scouting and 100 into tactics. I want to see if uh, she's going to be able to survive for much longer than that. Also, I'm going to try to find a similar character for the other caravan and compare their the two's uh, performances. So that would be the idea for right now. Uh, besides that, we're going to go back in the north and make money. Uh, we're going to grow up our army, and we are going to be building some workshops. Oh, yeah, Rayma should definitely survive. Yeah, she, she'll be fine. Hello. Wish to form a caravan. Better troops, 22.5. And Rayma will go and do that for us. Good. And I do have to mention something, um, while playing over the weekend, does this playthrough have a theme? M um, a priority will be to make our own kingdom this time around, Bebop. That will be the theme of this playthrough. Last playthrough was simply to explore uh, Vassalage, and how does it work. Uh, this time we're also going to be going, we're going to be going into our own kingdom as well. Could be a bug caused by my mods, uh, but I found that in 1.3 all caravans are pretty shit compared to before. I lost more money than I made from them, just with the spend in them because they bled me of my sweet coin, but like I said, it could be bugged. Or the mods. Indeed. That might be the case for right now. Um, wow, right off the bat, there's income from Rayma plus 500, and we're paying for 300, so um, a profit of 200. The actually no not that's well plus plus our wages that would expect the change of thirty four. We'll see, we'll see how things will go from here on out. How she will progress, but most likely the wages are higher simply because they have more troops and stuff. Hmm. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let me just check real quickly my inventory. Do I have? I actually have some grain and fish on me, which is going to be good. I'm going to try and go to Ascar and see if I can sell some of the grain and fish there. Just quick, just for a quick buck. And I'm also going to be, if I can catch those looters, that'd be great, but probably not. I think uh, Madwan is going to get in there. Okay, um, Rayma the Wanderer has started moving. She has 12 horse archers. Um, eight range and nine cavalry. So, so it's mostly, mostly a uh, cavalry group that she has rolling. That's good. Okay, I'm not gonna get involved in that battle. I'm gonna keep on walking to the south. Uh, do you wait on your caravans? They usually take a while to get going. My last later they bankrupted me for a few weeks. That slowly made me a fortune. Uh, yeah, that's how they work. You wait. You wait for your caravans uh, to get them started. You wait for them to get started, and then they're going to be making a lot of cash. Go to the SRA and you'll make more money than usual. And in, in what way, Therian? And what are you referring by that? Send troops. Good, one injured, and that's going to increase our medicine. Now that the looters are no longer lethal, uh, medicine should increase much, much faster. Should be cool. Because apparently we're getting a medicine experience from the simulation, and we're also getting, uh, we're going to be getting experience by healing the soldiers back up. Again, still, it doesn't make sense how looters managed to wound a professional soldier a legionnaire but i'm just glad they they're not going to be killing any of my high tier units from here on out i'm also going to be grabbing a bite out of an apple here and there if you guys don't mind hmm. ah delicious send in the troops Sasha the Swift gained skill points in one-handed and is now at 11. Okay. 
good. So the soldiers are also gaining some... The companions are also gaining some skills here and there. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, I think they receive skills based on their formation. It would make sense. So I'm just going to put them in the second formation make sure that they're archers. Had them around day 20, I think, but they barely made positive. Most of the time... They just cost me too much, so I was forced to disband them so I would not go bankrupt. I understand. I see what you're saying. Hopefully, that's not going to be the case for us. We still lost a lot of cash. We still lost 294. And yeah, yeah, her income reset is now just plus 155. Most likely, it's going to... And now it's 269. So it's. I think it's continuously changing. Yeah, it's 152 now as we're moving interesting okay we'll see anyway it is known that for caravans you need to wait a while until they get going until they start producing the delicious moolah of delicious moolahness so we should be fine in that regards let's trade real quick hmm our trade will be better because if you buy grain in asteroid and if you sell it in other faction territories you'll receive a profit and you'll meet some looters as well and you'll get some prisoners Right, I know at least three locations that sell grain at an amazing price that is outside of Asteroid territory. It, the Asteroid territory is kind of far away from anything else. Also, I'm not going to be focusing on smithing for right now. So it's really not worth coming all the way over here to the south. And yeah, I, I assume this is the grain producer, and it has a value at 6. That's amazing. Okay, since we're in the area, I might just go ahead and start that uh, increase. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. Hmm? Grain is barely worth anything, and it's heavy. Indeed, it's heavy, but when you ha when you're selling 100 units of grain, that money is gonna stack up. Beep bop. It's still a very very worth trade good to go for. Fish is better, but grain's good too. Last games I had, it took around a week to nine days for the money making to start. But even when my caravan made money, it made only around 500. While in my last game, they made around 900 to 1,500 per caravan. Well, we'll see. We'll see what's the current situation for our run. Um, price for fish is still kind of high, so I'm not going to go in on that. Let's see if they have any cheap horses. I have some cheap sumter horses and some cheap mules. I'm just going to buy 15 of those mules. Just to increase that inventory capacity. So we can buy ourselves a lot of grain. That should be good. And we're going to go now to the southeast. No, sorry, northeast. Uh, I don't think it's going to be worth it, though. Fish, grain. Yeah, we're getting out of here. I'm going to go back to Sanala, Kuyaz, and then we're going to go northwards. We took our booty. We should be fine. Yeah, horses, grain weights, nothing. Yeah, but indeed, if you don't have enough money to manage those horses, as in... Um, to deal with your herd, then it's going to hurt your party speed. As you can see over there on the herd section, we have a minus 0 0.28 because of that. So we'll be fine. And plus we're going to be also we're receiving uh, less speed because of injuries. Um, so I should heal up the boys once we reach Sanala. Maybe your map didn't have many ongoing war caravan wars. Caravans do better when the world economy is fucked and they get the soul to newly conquered cities for massive gains. Or maybe you've created the caravans too early in the game. Apparently the economy gets going and gets on you know, becomes dynamic after a few I don't know, twenty days or something. But I can't confirm nor deny that, so I don't know. If it's true. Grains cheap here as well. And fish as well. 
Okay, let's join that tournament. And then we're gonna go northwest wards. Green is just an alternative trade method of fishes, but fishes are better. Sure. Yes, they are. That's literally what I said, mate. Let's get in. Also, this is gonna get the rest off. I feel like the swords in the, the Asterite tournaments are too long. That literally hit the ground. You didn't make them out for 20 days, but I heard from the forum that they tweaked item prices for trade goods. So that could have caused it, or we're just unlucky and bugged. Indeed. Maybe it just got unlucky, man. Happens. I always find that caravan income shoots up when they're near a peaceful area and a struggling one. It's profiting right at its finest. Not exactly sure how or if you can influence the caravan's routes, but it should be okay. Perfection. Good. Fight, 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 fight. Help me. Good. My god, this dude is helping me out so much. You are my boy. He also killed my friend, so I'm gonna have to take you out. But still, there you go. Good. And from here on out, it should be easy peasy. There are one of you ones. I was gonna scrap the game because if I can't get a decent daily income, that will handicap me for the rest of the game till I get thieves. And I'm not planning on becoming a vessel, so I kind of fuck. So you're kind of fucked in this game. Just scrap it, man. Just scrap it and reset. It ain't that big of a deal. You just sell a two-handed sword and you'll be fine. Hey, Mr. Coxlot. Welcome back to the Indian. Cheers to you, too. What's up? The thing in the Battlelord is every tournament has a prize, but Warband doesn't. Okay. Well, you make, I think you make more money in Warband from a tournament than from a tournament in, uh, in Battlelord. Ooh. Why are only skirmishers in the finals? I don't know. Doing good, man. I'm feeling a little bit tired. Also, I'm, a little, I'm feeling a little bit soggy because I just got out of the bath. So, um... I'm going to try to focus and keep the conversation going as much as I can. Last week of my last year of high school, boys, I made it. Congratulations, Cakes. Congratulations, my man. You've done it. Now, off to university you go. Pappy252, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to Hit Point In. Da -da -dum. Yep. Yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. We're gonna sell that. I'm gonna bring us a quick profit. Quick buck. There. I'm gonna wait here a little bit. So that dude heals up. Good. Healing has been accomplished. I'm not going to run after the desert bandits. We're just going to go northwards. I want to get out of this desert. I want to get out of this desert and acquire 10 more looters. No, sorry, not 10 more looters. 10 more empire recruits. Get that ball rolling. Uh, goal in the stream, I will repeat it just for you, Mr. Coxalat. Uh, the goal of today's stream slash episode... We are going to be building caravans. We're going to be building workshops. If I fulfill that goal, I'm a happy boy with the progress of today. We'll see. We're also going to be comparing a big caravan with a small caravan and see which one's going to be making us more profit. Verify which one's more worth it. You can always get those export import mods to give yourself a boost uh, through the early slog. After doing it so many times, I gave up on doing the early grind until the stable release. Uh, okay. The gambling differs from tournament to tournament. You can earn 21k, sometimes 16k, 12k, 10k, and even 7k on BOP. Indeed, Therun. How long am I going to be streaming for today? Uh, three hours would be the idea. Like usual. 
good. That gave us medicine. That gave us some loot. And it gave us an injured soldier, which we're going to be healing up in Kuyaz. That's nice. Also, I have to admit, um, this weekend, while I was grinding the money to um, recuperate where we left off, I was really enjoying the game. I was really enjoying myself. I was relaxed. I was just roaming the lands, trading, fighting looters, taking my sweet time, playing around with the smithy. And at the point where I had enough money and I found the companion that we needed for the caravan, I was, I was sad. I was sad that I had to stop. Because what I did was I was playing uh, Battlelord and on the other screen I was watching something on YouTube or listening to an audiobook or stuff like that. And it was so fun and so relaxing. And I kind of forgot how... It's, it's the same sensation that I received from Warband. And I forgot about it. Because cause when, when I'm streaming, I always try to be fast. I always try to uh, progress as much as possible so I can keep you guys from the grind, so I can keep you guys entertained. I was really enjoying myself. Hmm. Not really fair comparing POP to native? No, not really fair. You don't get a bigger caravan, I think you get better soldiers, unless they change it from the last time I read. Okay, I think you get better soldiers, and I think you need to pay more for said better soldiers. Have anybody seen a white hole on the looter's face? I've not. It might have been there. Who knows? Okay. Good ish price here for grain. I'm gonna sell the wine. She was like, these guys like their wine in this territory. We're gonna wait here until that dude heals up, and then we're gonna keep on marching to the north. Perfection. Hello, Shredder. Welcome back. Uh, don't cry because it ended. Smile because it happened. Oh, yeah. I'm super smiling because it happened. I'm uh, eating some apples. Oh, man. What did I have for dinner? I did not have a dinner. I had a very late lunch. Uh, spinach with fried sausages. And currently, I'm just having a, kind of a mini dessert. Um, my wife cut me an apple into bite sizes. Because I like bite sized apples. For some odd reason. Because I'm a kid at heart. You're a baby. I'm a baby boy. Okay. Now, let's go to Artesia to the north. Also, found out that you can get extra armed caravans for the same price as a normal caravan with the SRI race bonus. That's cool. You ate chicken? Alright, dude. Hopefully it was good. Hopefully it was delish. Delish and glorious. Alright, let's go. Since we're back in Empire Territory, I'm gonna start grabbing myself some recruits. You're craving for fish and chips? You're probably gonna buy them uh, for tomorrow? Sure, that sounds good, man. Some fish and chips sounds good. I, w I was never a big fan of fish. Could never get into fish. Fish could never get into me because I didn't let it. Because I didn't eat it. So, um, but have at it, mate. Have at it. Enjoy to your heart's content. Fish. Yeah, my, my wife loves fish. She She's all into that. No, I'm not allergic. No. I just, I just don't like the taste. The smell destroys my soul I just can't stand the smell and uh, when I take a bite out of fish it's it just smell smell overload and I they go haywire and I can't I do like sushi though and I do like fish sticks or oh, wait no 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 fish fingers there you go so I do I do like those the smell stinks indeed the smell stinks. You're more of a grain person? As in bread, puppy? Or you're simply allergic to grain? Or, I'm sorry. 
Fresh fish is the best. Yeah, I can't. I uh, would just get fish and veggies. Everything else is so expensive because my entire country's quarantined. Ooh, sorry to hear that, mate. I'm sorry to hear that. Who's that dude? The Falcon. He has a hundred tactics. I could use this guy. I could use this guy as another caravan leader. Let's see. Let's see who can we use as another caravan dude. <sighs> You're more of a chicken person? I'm not a big fan of chicken either. Uh, simply because I ate a lot of chicken as I was growing up. It was the cheapest meat in our country. So, uh, really had my fair share of chicken. And I kind of fed up with it. Well, that's your problem. My wife said that that she also had her fair share of chicken, but she she still is able to eat it and likes chicken. I would I I eat chicken, and sometimes I get cravings for it, but I would prefer not to anymore. It just puts me off. Some people like eating onions and garlic. I freaking hate it. I'm very self conscious about my breath. Oh, I love eating onions and garlic. My wife hates me when I do it because of my breath. You're a non-vegetarian person? Sure, Theron. <laughs> I don't think you have to... You have to state, by the way, I am a non-vegetarian. <laughs> I think you're fine. Uh, no, I love salmon. I love sushi. Cakes. I, I love salmon and sushi, as I said. Snails are fish, too, in France. And I never ate snail, and I feel like it's kind of... Uh, for me to eat. Eat all non-vegetarian except pork and beef. Okay. Every week summer job in Sweden, I was fed pasta three times per day. I didn't eat pasta for the next year or so. I perfectly understand you, Pappy. I feel you, mate. I feel you. Falcon, leopard, horse thief, Miss the alone. Eh -eh. Golden. Kilam. Okay. Brave. Fadim of the Wastes. Nope. Bridges the Wanderer. Okay. Adalus the Wronged. Yeah, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to grab this guy that's here that has 100 tactics. He should be okay because I don't think we're going to be meeting another another character who has, who's going to be having both tactics and scouting. So let's just grab this guy. I don't know our Chicken Life channel on Twitch, Radic. Like sushi, but not fish. You don't like fish because of the smell of your breath. No, 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 not because of my breath afterwards. Simply the smell of the fish itself. Don't mind onions or garlic. I'm, I'm a fucking paradox. I don't know. I just don't like the smell of fish. It's not that big of a deal. The smell preference uh, thing is reliant on the country. Asians can't even smell anything bad about onion and garlic as every meal has them. I guess. I don't know if that's completely the case, but sure. Uh, 540? I'm sure a person that doesn't have onions and garlic in their diet will most likely feel the effects of onions and garlic. Also, Rev, um, is it still worth smol uh, smelting looter weapons and selling the, uh, the mat material, or just sell the weapons itself? Okay, so from my grinding from this weekend, I've noticed that you either just sell that shit without smelting it, simply because it takes too, too much of a time, you're going to be making cash just selling the weapons, or you smelt that shit and two ingredients, and then you create weapons. Because even if the even if the um, price of the weapon doesn't bug out, I've sold two hundred weapons for over one one point five k. So even with all of the grinding from the weekend, I still couldn't exploit smithing. So I just sold the weapons that I created, and it still gave me quite a profit. So you either just sell the weapons, or you smelt them and create weapons with smithing, and then sell them. Hey, Spectre. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? How you doing? Uh, fish, too. I have never heard anyone complain about it. I guess there's just too many fish here. Hey, Bebop. It, it depends on from country to country and from person to person, to be honest. I mean, we do have access here to fish regularly. It's just something that I never got accustomed to. As an Irishman, potatoes are eaten with every meal, so when I turn 18, I stop eating potatoes. Sure. Venom. 
if that's what you wanted to do, that's what you did. But under breath, you can eat everything. I really don't care much. I care about what my wife thinks about my breath. That's why I, even though I love eating onions and garlic, I avoid eating it. Or, or at least I only eat it with her permission. Uh, which country do you like rather than Europe? Okay, uh, Europe's a continent. It's not a country. Uh, which country do I like? Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of countries that I like. I, from right atop of my head, I like the cleanness of Austria. I like the I like Holland. I like Japan. I like um, Japan simply for the super different culture. Um, what else? Hmm. I like New Zealand. Mostly because my wife likes it and because I also find that the scenery over there is very, very cool and interesting. Um, what else? I heard the Scandinavian, the Scandinavian countries are very beautiful, so that'd be cool too. Okay, let's uh, let's try to focus a little bit on the game though. Okay, ooh, that's a decent price for grain. We're gonna sell it until it goes down to thirteen. Good, that's it. Quick buck, and there's a tournament. Let's go in. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's see. Uh, sometimes I fear eating nasi biryani. One moment enjoying, next moment I'll be eating the spices. Mm. Not much doing good. Playing some War Thunder. Your neck hurts. Why does your neck hurt, Spectre? Still make stupid amount of money, like a few k a weapon. Otherwise, I won't use it because I don't like exploits. Uh, no. No, as I said, I've created two-handed weapons that were one point one k between one k and one point five k. I never went above one point five. Eating onions with some Colgate sauce? Ugh, that sounds horrible. What comp am I running? Oh, troops. Currently, I'm... Uh, oh, Imperial Axe. Interesting. Currently, I'm just running with some Legionnaires. And I'm about to train up some archers from here now. I'm practically going to go all in on, into archers now. Feel faster. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe it's my imagination. There you go. Uh, you know it's called the Netherlands and not Holland. Uh, don't get why so many people made that mistake. Oh, my bad. Netherlands. I'm sorry, HD Zero. Uh, love the small state of Durian. What is Durian? You don't know? It just hurts? Maybe you slept in a weird position, Spectre. What's the best trade good or route you found so far? I did not find a good trade route or trade good or route, large spaghetti. I found the prices that I need to look out for. If you go to my Discord channel, type in exclamation point Discord, and you go in the Bannerlord section, check the tagged message, and you'll see um, all of the trade goods and what prices you should watch out for and when to buy. You should be perfectly fine. Usually, you can find very cheap food in the north. Holy shit. That dude got ended. Um, you can find hardwood in Batanian territories. You can find furs. Cheap furs in Batanian territories. I'm sure you're going to be very okay on cash, man. As long as you keep an eye on that chart. Do I like sports shooting? I've never sports shooted in my life. I did have a bow, a homemade bow, and arrow, arrows, well, blunt arrows, when I was little, but besides that, I've never done sports shooting. A durian is a culture? Oh, okay. I did not know that. I feel like they sp speed sped up the swing, too? Mm. Uh, max difficulty. All on max, Mr. Goxalot. Hello, special. Have you seen this? The new 1.4 perk plus high level with one-handed skills causes this. Uh, no. What are you showing us, special? 
Is it hard and long to train a Vlandian cavalry? No, it's not. As long as you find the recruits, it's not hard at all. I uh, don't know if you have tested it, but does rogue skill make enough of an impact to be worth taking? And yes, my monitor to 60 hertz. Kicks. Um, on my first playthrough, uh, with no, I, when we ended the playthrough with Valentina, roguery gave me a 15% better battle loot. So, that sounds good to me, man. And plus, you're not really putting a lot of effort into leveling up roguery, so that sounds good to me. And I think we were under 100 roguery, so there's a lot of space for better loot there. We are going to be continuing to level up roguery and further test it out. Uh, durian is the most polarizing fruit in existence. People either love them or throw up when anywhere near it. Uh, I see. Spearmen always strike above their heads. Um, no. They also do a... Low thrust. It's a quick 40 second video of 270 skill. Okay, let me, I'll, uh... I'll read in a sec, let me just beat up this guy. 270 skill on one hand makes it impossible to beat certain lords who have it. Really, why? Why is it impossible? I mean, can't you just, uh, shield bash? Has a very strong smell that's with some people is sweet and delicious, while outright nasty to some like aged garbage. Okay. What's the most difficult mode mod on Warband? Everyone answer. Um, a World of Ice and Fire. I would say. Currently it's a World of Ice and Fire. Let's go towards Jelmaris, Zionic, and Poros, and hopefully we're going to be getting some profit on the boys. Also, did I recruit? I did. Good. Let's keep moving. Next stop is going to be Arpontis. And how many... Imperial recruits, do we have two? Okay. It's anime level speed and swings makes POP high level skills look balanced. Okay. Can't block them and they break your shield in seconds. That sounds stupidly awesome and I want to see it. But I want to see it happen in my own playthrough. World of Ice Fire is basically suffering in RNG in a mod form. I, it's not suffering, it's just difficult. But you are at the mercy of RNG, that is for certain. Let's go to Dratios, just grab some recruits here. Have you ever had a slingshot? No, no, I never had a slingshot. Never had a slingshot or any form of slingshots. Um, just bow and arrow. That's why I'm kind of glad when uh, um, I go to events and they have these, uh, you know, controlled area shooting galleries. Our frequent name, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to Hit Point In. Um, because of these shooting galleries, I usually get nervous that, oh my god, I'm so rusty with the bow and arrow, but after two shots, I get it, get in the swing of it, and everything is much better. 16th century nations in war is the, um, most difficult. Try that and you will cry. Okay, and what's, why is it so difficult? They're in my boy. Oh, shit! Somebody died! Well, it seems uh, looters are still lethal in my playthrough. The fuck? I've been lied to. I have been bamboozled. I've been taken for a ride. Damn. Also, I didn't check that dude's uh, inventory. I just hired him. Yeah, I guess they're not that non-lethal. Hmm. Hmm. Well, never mind. Myth busted. Looters, looters still kill ya. Looters are still lethal. <sighs> there was a rumor roaming around that looters were again non-lethal. Maybe you should do a surgeon playthrough in the future. They may have a chance if you're on their side. Maybe. You take a card, the whole world, and it looks like the world 
which is currently now, and that's why it's difficult there, Rune? That doesn't sound too difficult to me, boy. What seems to be the issue? Old Sumter Horse. You're on foot, brother. You're on foot. Five. Oops. Okay. Should be okay. Well, I learned my lesson. Manual fighting it is. Even though I... Hmm? Uh, Big T788. Thank you for becoming a follower, dude. Welcome to Hit Point Inn. This sounds long and not difficult. Those are two different things. Yeah, I agree with Bebop. Where's the difficulty in that? I mean, have you seen Mortal Empires in Total War Warhammer? Try conquering that world. It's gonna... It's not difficult, but it's gonna take a shit ton of time. Hope to improve AutoCal, uh, because it's so terrible you never use. It's also making tactics a skill you would never take because it only affects AutoCal battles. That right now are too horrible to use. If you don't want to lose all your higher tier troops to what recruit. Yes. Um, Therion, you still didn't answer our uh, question. Why do you find the 16th century nations in war mod difficult? What kills you? What makes you feel, oh my god, this is so difficult? What makes you go and say that? Imperial Axe. Tier 4. Yeah, he's gonna be fed. Still straight. Sell those stuff. Find him a weak shield. Maybe not that weak. Something that he's gonna that's gonna carry him a bit. Makeshift horseman catch you. That should be fine. And a step bow. And some goddamn oh tournament arrows perfect. Great. That's gonna do him good. And horrible prices all around. Got it. There's a mod for better autocal, so you could use that, as I doubt it's using to be... It's, um, gonna be fixed anytime soon. We'll see, man. We'll see. I'm not gonna be using that. I'm just gonna play the game as it is. I feel like it's important for me to learn the game as it is, so I can pass on that knowledge further. Join the tournament. Let's go in. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Don't know if this is true, but I heard the auto cal makes all the soldiers do one on one duels. So even if you have a hundred men versus one person, that one man will fight every man in your party one on one. So that may cause some of the bullshit moments with it. That sounds horrible. Also, this looks like a cool, cool arena. Sorry, a cool tournament that we should be able to win. Also, that dude has a lacking a torso, or at least it needed a little bit of time to. Ninja, baby. Uh, to load up his chest piece. Okay, we gain athletics now at 52. Athletics has been coming up a notch. And my god, we're fighting against... No, 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 we should be fine. We should be fine against the two. Okay, Imperial Veteran Archer, you got this! You are the Archer Extraordinaire! Shoot him in the butt cheeks. Okay, let me help you out. Now, shoot him in the side. I am showing you his exposed side, goddammit. Oops. Ah, oh, thank god. There we go. Whoo! Slapped. Lake Rat Recruit, never seen that unit. It's uh, one of the units from the well, Lake Rats clan. Uh, they're, as I understand, they're pieces of shit, and everybody goes at war with them. Pearl Crossbowman and a Elite. Let's deal with this guy first. There we go. 
Dog pile. Oh no, that is not that is not good. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. Calm it down, Bresky. Okay, at least we're, we're faster than this dude. On our feet, I was referring to. Come on. Fall down, you little shit. You're smaller than me. So in my eyes, you're a little shit. There we go. Hmm? Uh, the lake rats. The lake rat clan, apparently, are considered pieces of shit. Even that does not explain how a looter can take on three elite cathophracts. Indeed, HD0, it's, it's a bug. They gotta fix it. They gotta rebalance autocal. My god, we get it. Just remembered I played that 16th century mod, just had a massive map and annoyingly large armies and garrisons, but nowhere near a world ice and fire. Just got a lot of, lot of grind, as you have to save up a massive amount of money before establishing yourself, but it isn't hard at all. Okay. Um, that dude's? I have no idea. Oh, shit. Mm. It's 150. I actually could check. By clicking on the name, it actually takes me to his encyclopedia entry. The same with soldiers. Oh, that's so cool. I never knew this. I never knew this screen is interactable. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna fight against an Imperial veteran archer now. That's so cool. Hello, Ori soldier. Uh, Crusade is better than anything else because the she-wolf protects us all. Uh, could you please elaborate on that, good sir? Why do you feel like Kuzaita are the best? Is it simply a very subjective opinion? Or do you have proof? Normally there are large, weak bandits, bandit groups in that mod that you can farm. If you have enough patience, it's just slow because that mod is tedious but not really hard. Okay. All lords and tournaments are kryptonite for players in the early game? Yes, they are. It's to keep the player down. And make him not be able to grind all of those sexy levels. Well, sexy cash. So early on. Ain't that right, person who no longer has a jaw and most likely lost his life in a very safe, safe tournament. Oh. Hmm. Kuzaito are OP in their horse archery craft. You can you can wreck most of the pleb foot armies with these. Indeed, you can also wreck most of the foot armies with these, uh, utilizing simply a large amount of archers or a soldier, um, and a large amount of foot archers is much more cheap than a large amount of horse archers because you don't have to pay for the horse and the war horse for the upgrade. Hey, no problem, Theron. You consider whichever you want to be the most difficult to meet. You do you, man. You do you. Came from Warband, so I know how archery is OP. Okay. Good for you, man. I came from P.O.P., Warband, Floris, World of Ice and Fire, um, Viking Conquest, and quite a few other mods. And I know as well how archery is OP, especially from P.O.P. Any faction in the hands of the player is the best, unless the enemy has some absolute busted units. Realm of the Falcon, Perizno. Oh yeah, Realm of the Falcon were dumb. Were dumb dumb and stupidly powerful. So that... And move on. Pandora and its elephant scum? Yeah, sure. Early game player versus Lord is like free to play versus a pay to win player. Um, one has 100, 100 times better equipment, the other is you. 
well, Pappy, their AI, you'll still be able to get the upper hand in most of the situations. Especially if you have the... Especially if you are in one-handed and you have the basher perk, you'll be just fine. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to enter this smithy. Why did I enter this smithy? Because I'm a schnitzel. I don't want to enter the trade. I want to enter in recruits. Good. Now when I wait here for some time until they heal up. A little bit more. Good. Leave. And travel to Zionica. Also, stop at Neocortis. And maybe fight those or kill those uh, seven looters. That should be fine. Fodim received points into scouting. That's good. Oh my god, looters galore. Let me love you, looter. Let me love you. Wow, they're fast. Hey, we're fighting against both squads. It is time to show our prowess in battle. So we're fighting against... 21? 23? I don't know. Soldiers come over here. Oh, right, we have some small fries in here. Oh, yeah, look at that sword. You never heard a, held a sword in your life. Good luck surviving, mate. Oh, boy. Wow, that would have been nice. Ah, son of a bitch. Finally. Tank with your faces, brothers. Son of a bitch. Oh boy. Yes. Okay. One more. Two more. Ah, I missed. Okay, fine. Uh, Noldor are scum when they're in negative relations with you, but when in positive, and if you have white stack castle or it's near their territories, they'll be the wall of your kingdom, as they're hostile with every force except yours. Indeed, they were. Indeed. Well, at least in. Uh, oh, what? We lost three men? We lost three recruits. Ah, oh, that's sad. Lame. Well, listen, Pender, you're supposed to befriend the OP faction in Parisno. Realm of the Falcons is the pain. Elentor, too, if you're not using their units, they're just stupidly OP and stat checks any other faction. Uh, actually, Bebop, the Parisno culture has been buffed up, and now they're pretty powerful. And I think they're on equal... Their archers are on equal footings with the, the elven archers. So have fun with that, mate. One of this and one of this. That's simply because I lost some infantrymen, or one infantryman to a to a freak accident. <sighs> yeah, ten infantrymen, and we gotta get ourselves a lot of archerinos from here on out. Said the Falcon gained a point in athletics. Oh right, Said is most likely a I can't believe he's receiving athletics points by just walking around. That's cool. That's cool. Huh. Hopefully we're going to help him uh, gain the right skills in the future. Also, how the fuck do you have 100, ta 100 tactics without any focus? Any goddamn focus, man. Goddamn focus, man. Best case scenario would be to acquire archers directly and then not get recruits but remember the Noldor have a custom knighthood order friend Silverus Rangers and Halberdiers yes they do yes they do have those friends they're best buddies best buds really that's nice I just hope uh, poor Tolerania gets some love they're so weak compared to the rest they might have received an up upgrade or update I'm not 100% sure though you'll have to 
Check that shit out yourself. Hello, lone looter of lone looterness. We will fight thee. Um, Moreira FM. Thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to Point In. Soldier boys up there. Infantry become a shield wall. One Imperial recruit, you will be the dude that needs to live. So I'm going to protect you. You're going to fight from my behind. Beautiful. A few more shots like that. Or not. Okay. Yes, you and me, recruit. I shall stand by you and help you in your endeavors. Yes, you gained that XP, brother. You gained that XP. Hmm. Triggers to gain XP, they need to deal damage and participate. Yes, they do. They need to do damage and participate. Sadly. I'm actually thinking of getting a big contingency of recruits and just, uh... Level them up through fire and sword. Because that's something that I gotta do. Sure, grab all of those. I'm not gonna take the Empire Peasants because I can just grab basic recruits. From the village. New weapon? Uh, yes, my man catcher. <laughs> I forgot about these. Um, I've unlocked some uh, mace recipes in smithing, so I created some man catchers for everyone. Manhunter. Okay, that's not. That's those are not. I I was planning on creating man catchers for everyone. Would love for XP share to return, uh, but it's likely not gonna happen. We'll see, man. Time will tell. Anyway, um, Mancatcher is a weapon tier 5 mace. It's very short. It's not used for horseback. But it does uh, 67 blood damage with a 97 uh, swing speed. So it's pretty good at getting the boys. So I'll be just fine until the siege stage where I'm going to be needing a longer weapon to fight on the walls. But for right now, we Gucci. We good. We just fine. Yeah, a good blunt weapon. Just to get those prisoners rolling. A little bit of those prisoners roll. I wanted to verify... Yeah, basic prices. Recruit troops. That one dude that nobody likes from the village. Let's go to Zionica. Not gonna fight the mountain bandits. Because they're gonna be killing my boys. All right, Zionica, how you doing? Good. We've sold a lot of prisoneros. There's a tournament here. Let's trade. Sell weapons. Sell armor. And why? Wow, that's such a good price for fish. Holy shit! Give me money, please. That should be fine. Good price. Good price. Even the game recognized that good price and gave us two skill points in trade. Hell yeah. Talk with the villagers and get their goods? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those people really like their fish, not like me. How sad would you be as a looter when your life is only worth a little more than a bag of grain? Yeah. It's a sad existence, man. It's a sad existence. Why do I have so much food? Because I'm selling it for a profit, Mr. Coxalat. That's my trade good. Oh. Oh, there's uh, one of the weapons that I created. It should, special. That is literally one of the two-handed weapons that I've created and sold at a shop. 
It's nice to see it as a uh, tournament prize. Oh, and, and I gave it weird names. Ball catcher and childish stuff like that. This is Chatter Cheddarton. In the hopes that it would give me money, but it didn't really give me that much cash. Shit, son. I just one-shot your horse. Oh, no, you motherfucker! Ah, oh, son of a biscuit ball. Okay, hopefully you two are capable of taking that one dude out. If not, I lost this tournament. Big stongs. There's your big stongs. Oh. Also, that was the last of my apples. I'm not going to be eating anymore. Sorry if it was annoying. But I wanted some dessert. You failed. So you're a Jawal recruit. Damn, Jawal boy. You did good. Hell yeah. You go, Jawal. You go. How much is that sword? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't remember. It's between 1 and 1.5k. Nothing super overboard. Okay. That was completely... Holy shit, that horse just went bye-bye. Oh, poop. Oh, poopy. I killed my own dude. And there I go. Damn it. Well, I guess we'll never find out. Unless I manage to catch this boar champion guy in the city and kick his ass, but <laughs> clearly that's not going to happen. We we need to make a 60k sword and sell it just to win it back in a tourney. That would be dumb as fuck, but no, nah, it's just it's a small fry. It's a small fry sword. Okay. Recruit troops. Sadly, we lost that one. Let's go eastwards to Poros. We're going to talk to Gadios. Hmm. Should have waited. Is that an army? Yes, that's an army. Okay. Whew. Thought for a second that's that's one dude's party. I was like, damn, son. You've been working out. You've been carrying all those fools. I just want to talk with him to get the quest. No big stocks, no. Think that useless that unless the player wins that tourney, no one gets the prize? Uh yes, you're correct, puppy. Nobody gets that. Alright, now let's fight against those looters. How many recruits do we get? Two. Two recruits that need the love. Hopefully we're fighting in the mountains. Mountain high battle of mountain highness. Is Bandlord even good? It's on the level of Warband, Yako. I can say that. Yeah, it's on the level of Warband. It's good. It has bugs, of course, but it's good. It's fun. It's relaxing. It tickles my fancy. What? I mean, I not say pickle. But in its current state, it's just on the level of Warband, so don't expect more than that. Son of a bitch. There we go. One of the things that I don't like is I can't order my soldiers while shooting. 
Oh, nice. A looter killed one of my Imperial recruits. Damn it. Am I going to save Scum Marriage this time or just hope to God that you don't fail it? I'm not even sh I'm just going to hope to God not to fail it. No save Scum. Hello, side of bacon. Uh, good with the potential to be great. Yes. Yeah, that is the perfect summary of this game. No idea why, but in my last game, the King of Asurai had a 230 party size that didn't seem to desert him. Basically, a one party army. Did you? How long did you monitor his progress, Beep Bop? And did other vassals join in the meantime? Hey, nice. At least that one dude leveled up, and he's no longer going to be on the front lines. To Tarkatis we go. And then eastwards to Oneka and Poros. How are we looking? Ah, oh, we still need to talk with a shit ton of more money. More people. You could totally get a 330 party size with a lot of work. Yes. But if you're referring to an army, yes, you can easily get a 330 army size. Recruity the recruit. Ooh, actually, there's nobody here. Lamo. Mountain banditos of mountain banditry. It is time we face the inglorious battle. Um, like 30 days as I was trading from Asurai to Batania. Sure. I'm not going to catch those guys, so I'm not gonna even going to bother. Let's go to Anika. You need to run your own kingdom for that kind of party? Yes, you do. You, yes, you do. Oh, right, the caravan. Um, caravan is currently making me 500, and we're paying 300 for it. So it's it's paying my army. It's currently paying my army, so I'm okay with that. Hopefully it's going to be making more cash in the near future. You saw a 2,700 AI army on another stream. Oh, that sounds stupidly destructive, my man. And cool. 2.2, 3.8, 3.5... Should be able to capture them and fight. Let me love you. Uh, do we, we love... Okay, yeah. We're going to let them love us. Strong faction coming from peace can do that? I'm sure they can. Especially if they have the all-encompassing army of every lord joining the fray. Well, it's a good thing that we no longer have um, recruits on the front line because, goddamn, we're fighting against the mountains. Mm -hmm. Well, I assume you would use that big pile of soldiers against uh, in sieges. Not against sieges. In sieges. Alright, Imperial soldiers, make me proud. Show them a good time. Because we're having a good time, having a good time. Okay, that was not good. Not all of them are throwing spears, but how we? Go, go, go. Shut him in the butt. Nice. Perfect. Do I like ACDC? Oh god, um, I liked ACDC. People have been requesting them so often on my streams that I'm a little bit fed up with them. Also, that was Queen. Uh, the tracking errors under were ridiculous now? I'm sure they were. Yes, yes, victory. Holy shit, Legionnaires. Calm your tits. Your man tatas. Is fine. Okay, well, at least we got a good pile of prisoners. Everyone at least likes ACDC. Some people are just too elitist to admit it. Sure, yeah, I like ACDC. I'm at that level, but I don't want to listen to them right now. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm Gucci. They take a city or two, but... Uh, but 
spread out strong faction, but a spread out strong faction with five respectable armies are way more annoying as they steamroll entire areas and even as the player you can't keep up. That sounds awesome. Destructive, but awesome. To Poros, my... To be honest, I really like Poros. I really like this city. Mesui the Alone. Well, you're still going to be continuously alone because you have shit stats and I'm never going to take you into my party. So, sorry. Trade? Ba -ba -bum. Um, because I'm TNT? Nah, I'm fine. I can't. I just can't listen to ACDC anymore. You, go, you guys go listen to ACDC on Spotify or on YouTube or something, but keep me out of it. I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. A lordly battered kite shield, brothers. And yes, I've noticed that rusty, battered, um, lordly, they're, they actually work now. So lordly, you will never find a better battered kite shield than the lordly battered kite shield. They work now. Before they didn't work, but now they do. So that's cool. So cool. Uh, right, we need more horses. We need to construct additional horses for our soldiers. Holy crap, that's, that's perfect for what I need. Okay. Nah, wait. 10, 10, 20, 23. Okay, and the rest are workhorses, right? Also, apparently, sumter horses can go old and not count for your inventory space anymore. Is that a thing? Does that happen? Um, happened to me against a steamrolling Vlandia. It was a battle and I eventually lost from sheer attrition. Then I rage quit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Bebop. Hey, Jenny. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? Suppish. Holy shit. Yes. Oh, we hit the mother load. That's why I love portals. Also, what? We're at Glentier 2? Hell yeah! I have no idea why, but hell yeah! Plan tier two. Nice. <laughs> Fuck happened. Uh, the only lordly item I've ever found are shit shields. Hope uh, we're going to be able to upgrade items in the future. Hopefully so, man. Hopefully so. Mm -hmm. Dunny. Quests. No. Do I? Yeah. Trade. Because I got to see the prices over here for... Fishy the fish, yes. Yeah, good. Also, look at that price for Grain Brothers. Mm. Ooh, baby. There, that should do it. 3k. Uh, crafting shields, armor, bows would be awesome. Currently, we're... It's confirmed that you'll be able to craft armor aside of bacon, besides weapons. We'll see. Uh, Lordly shields are so weak, they need to pump up those numbers. Uh, yeah, but that shield is simply a tier 1 shield that's in a lordly state. Beep up. That's the problem. Fencing stolen goods. Yeah. Good. So, uh, 10. All of these recruits need to become archers from here on out. And I need, I think, three more. Yeah, three more. But Rev, why aren't you not getting all of the recruits and making them into archers? Because I'm still um, low on cash for a little bit of time. Still low on cash and still slowly, slowly working towards uh, making a profit off of caravans and stuff. Hey, Stabberthun. Yes, it's another one of my swords. Shocking, I know. You couldn't tell from the name. I want Perisno or Aegis Ae in Battlelord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I want a big, big shawarma with everything. But we can't get what we want every time. 
join the battle. Oh, baby, I'm on a horseback. Hell yeah. Much better right now. Whew. Get off my lawn. Nah, son. Nah. There. Sharmas are good. That's why I want one. You see, uh, you're just cursed now to win your own sword for the rest of the time? Nah, I'm actually curious to see uh, which, which sword value is that one. That's another one. Wish you could impale the enemy off their horse with a spear. Yeah, I, I, I'd like if they introduced a little bit of extra gore in the game. That is true. Goodbye, Sacha. She's dead. She should be dead with that. You mother trucking bastard! Oh my god! Oh lord! Stay away from me! You stay away, you bastard! You fat fuck! There you go! Ah oh, crap! Ah oh, crap! Oh get fucked! Oh get stabbed! Okay, we need a sword and board. Okay, yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, you take the horse if you want to. I'm gonna try to shoot him off the horse. Come on, you bastard. Good. Stand still. Oh boy. Yeah, stab that fucker. Nope. God damn it. Ooh, got him. Got him good. Got him good. Come on. Hail to the yes! Uh, you think it's possible with their current engine model? Uh, for graphics, I guess? Um, they might add decapitation and dismemberment, but I don't think they're gonna be having, uh... They're gonna be having weapon piercing. 2v2- Oh, shit! Catch. With a side of bacon. Oh, poop basket. Okay, Saiduki the Falcon. There we go. Wow, I am f the fast without a, without a shield. Okay, and an Imperial Equity. Equitus. An Imperial Big Boy. He didn't even get phased by that stab. What in tarnation are you, mate? There you go. That was a headshot. Nice. I wish they implemented the spear bracing mechanic and some warband mods into Bandlord. It would do a lot in mitigating that massive difference in the AI battle performance, especially against Kuzite. I'm sure it would be bop, but Kuzite is not really the type of dudes that to charge you head on. I think they're the type of dudes to swing around your army and just fill you up with uh, arrows. Use you as a pincushion. Of pincushionery. Okay, so let's see what's Stabberton. Yeah, it's at 1.5k. So Stabberton brought me this amount of profit. This is its stats. Um, 94 swings. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can't see it. There you go. There's the value. Um, so, uh, 94, swing damage 96, thrust speed 89, thrust damage 39, length 100. Ain't a very good two-hander, but still, it's gonna bring me a decent profit. And I don't feel like it's on the broken levels of brokenness. So, Stabbertund, thank you for serving me yet again. Alright, we're slowly, slowly getting to the Moolah mark. Let's go northeast. No, no, I don't want to trade again. I want to get three more soldiers. So we're going to go northeastwards to Tevia. 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 I guess it's Tevia. Also, Lutas. I cannot resist their allure. 
Let me love you, Luther, son. All poop. Are you guys going to join forces? Because if you're going to join forces, that's going to kill all of my recruits, most likely. Oh, no. Okay. Fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. Wish my boys will be able to survive and handle them. So they can at least become archers. Our chairs. There we go. You guys don't really... Don't really need to be in loose formation yet, right? Yeah, you're fine. You're a-okay. Ooh. I'm keeping... I'm still training my crossbowmanship. Because, uh... I want more. I want, I want more crossbow from the crossbow god. Uh, do you guys see a difference? I have both of the reload perks now. Do you guys see a difference in the reload speed? Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. I'll cover for them. Stop shooting at them. My boys need the XP. Why don't I utilize bows? Because I wanted to test out crossbows as well, Mr. Coxlat. I'm all about that experimentation. Ah, uh, this walking to the enemy's right constantly still stun the AI into constantly adjusting towards you? I don't know. I never knew that was a thing. I knew about these run around them in circles thing that confuses their AI up the butt. But no, I did not know about the walk in front of them thing. It's a little quicker. Uh, the perks are a tad bit underwhelming, though. A bit. None of the perks work but one. Hmm. Which one? So, everything was placebo? I was just under the impression that they worked. <laughs> okay. People were telling me that these stack and they're so good and shit. You liars. You're liars. You lied to me. Liars. Alright. An Imperial trained archer. Let's go say hi to those leaders as well. And since we're in the area, Zestia, give me your delicious recruits. Good. One more recruit and we're solid. Also, I seem to recall Chris linking a website with all of the implemented perks. Uh, Plane Hunter works, uh, but this skill correctly increases crossbow reload speed by 0 0.07, which is what you may be feeling. I don't think I'm feeling a 0 0.07. Holy shit. I don't think I am, but okay. I mean, it's 0 0.07, dude. That ain't right. There. Oprah level. Ah, okay, there you go. That might be better a bit. I'll check after... I'll check after the mission to see... Um, what are the current stats? Oh my god, are they being smart? Are they keeping the recruits in the back so they don't get nicked? That's amazing. Hey, Circles. Welcome back to the end, dude. Suppish. I completely missed. I'm open fire. God damn you, stag. You're in my way. Fuck him up, fuck him up. He's yours, he's yours. Get him. Nice stab. I'm prepping them up for you guys. Okay, I, I actually kind of killed that guy, but still. Looking good. That'd be almost nice by the time you hit level 300, I guess. Maybe. We'll see. But, yeah, bows are right off the bat powerful. <gasps> Three... Did I just see three recruits leveled up? Ooh, baby. Mm. Oh, yes, three. Prepping those uh, up were so good. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Ooh, Revol likes that. Okay, let's uh, go to Tevia. I need one more, one more recruit. Smart AI? I, yes. Smart AI. You know, because they managed to put the recruits in the in the behind. Hopefully, they keep at it with the behind. All right. So crossbow info. Crossbow reload speed 4.2%. Crossbow accuracy 3%. At 60 crossbow. Meh. That ain't that big. How's the playthrough going? Better. I've progressed. I've uh, made a caravan. That's not really making me mon that much money right now. But progress is progress. Also, the fuck? There's a desert bandit here? What are you doing? What are you doing so far away from home? This ain't a place to take a trip. Is that a mosquito? I don't know. Yeah. Kind of mosquito fly. Let's see. Uh, it went away. Oh no. It's Floyd. It's a mosquito fly. It's a huge mosquito. It's a huge ass mosquito fly. Oh my god. Of huge. It's El Mosco. It's fucking huge. <laughs> El Mosco. Uh, the actual skills all work in scale improve. What they're meant to. Uh, most perks are start charm, leadership, trading, one handed don't work. Okay. Puppies lost. Also, what's my routine in making money? Find find cheap goods and sell them high. Hey, Corrupt Angel. We'll go back to the end. Yeah. Do you read or listen to audiobooks? Yes, I do read. I just listen to audiobooks. I don't read them. Hey, X again. Does your wife share her work in Art Station? Uh, no, she just has an Instagram account and she shares it there. Sometimes bandits just decide to go to a random area. I found step bandits in South Assyria Desert. Maybe they're on a vacation. I destroyed the Congratulations. She destroyed the mosquito. El Mosco has been defeated. They need to nerf bows. Uh, they're so powerful that a group of archers can take out way better troops, so it feels like Pendra all over again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With 100 archers, you should be able to win any battle. Okay, maybe 200. 200 archers. So you got a battle a while back. Good for you. What books are you listening to at the moment? I'm listening to... Uh, Good Omens. Well, more, more like re-listening to Good Omens. We're currently listening to Good Omens. It's been a, it's been a while since we listened to the audiobook, but still, that's the one we're going for. Oh, poop. Guys! Guys, oh my god, no! Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened, mate? Mate, oh. Whoa there, buckaroos. This ain't that kind of neighborhood. Yeah. And... Come on! Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that guy. Unless somebody shoots him right now. Nah, he too fast. He too good. Um, so let's see. It just doesn't feel right that a tier 3 archer can kill the highest tier infantry with like 4 shots. Try using Fion Champions. Fion Champions are super busted. You're reading Art of Not Giving a Fuck. That's a good book to read, Yako. Especially if you're very, very self-conscious of your actions. He's reading The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Is that the book, Not Giving a Fuck, by Mark Hansen? Uh, is it by Mark Hansen? If it's... Manson. Manson? Mark Manson or Hansen? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mark around that ballpark, Hansen. Mark. We don't know if he's handsome, Manson. though. Manson. Manson? Yes. Manson. That's the dude. Oh, yeah. He said yes. 
My wife read it as well, and she said it was nice. So, uh, those guys can be in anything? Yes, they can. Um, goddamn, the combat mechanics are weird to get used to. Uh, just keep on practicing in arenas, and you'll be just fine, Corrupt Angel. You'll be just Gucci. Having to decide block direction. Uh, the block direction for the shield is not that big of a deal. So, just practice with a shield, and you'll be fine. AI does not use shield wall that well? No, it doesn't. Bows aren't OP. Use better tactics like more shield uh, using troops for front row. Karameo, uh, they're OP in your hand. My man, they're not OP in the enemy hand. Bows are OP. Look at how it compares to all other ranged options. Armor being shit it just aggravates the issue a bit. Archers aren't really as good with the right maps and against cavalry. Infantry is usually balanced to be weak against archers in most games too. Mm -hmm. There's a reason all the armor fixes mod all have a special handling of arrow damage to nerf the reckless bow damage. Okay. Just need to get used to the blah blah blah. There's a global misunderstanding. Archers do not need nerfs. AI needs a buff. <laughs> yeah, sure. And maybe a slight armor nerf or a slight damage nerf to bows. Just slight, slight. Uh, they show armor crafting in Battlelord. Um, Turkish gaming site. When this finally releases in beta, will be OP and broken. For example, crafted chainmail will have 60 armor when you have five smithing skill. Oh, that sounds awesome! I'm going to be making one. Uh, the Fian shouldn't be able to one or two shot high tier troops. They can shoot from a mile away. How does having more damage than swords sound balanced? Indeed. How? Answer me. How? Lordly makeshift get shield. Another tier one weapon with a lordly status. Two archers leveled up. Two recruits leveled up. Oh, now that was seriously through fire and sword. Boy's been fighting the mountain bandits. Yes, a lordly makeshift shield. It's gonna go bye bye because I'm gonna be selling it. Yorin Blacktooth. Meh. Swordsman Blacktooth. Meh. Meh, meh be someday. It's a very well-made makeshift shield, Corrupt Angel. Let's sell that. And boom. Made some cash. Eh, I can find better locations. Ooh, but I cannot for that fish, though. That should be fine. 15.9. Okay, I think we're ready to create the other caravan. It's a piece of plywood with, with gold trim. Yeah, I don't think it has a gold for trim. I think it's fool's gold, though. Yeah, we'll see. Um, next up, let's see who is the merchant. Milos, the supplier. So let's go talk with Milos, the supplier. We're going to wait here until morning. Uh, heal up the boys a bit as well. There we go. So, Milos the Supplier. Let's take a walk around the street. Hey, Shady Mike. Welcome back to the end, dude. Uh, current iteration of Battlelord. Theoretically. What? What? Thru's Oitirelli. No point. There's literally no point in infantry because archers and cavalry outclassed them so hard they're worthless. Ah, uh, they're still good at being a shield wall and defending against arrow fire. Beep bop. I'm still going to be keeping around 30 of them. Wish they made certain armors be better at nerfing certain damage types, like scale armor, better being uh, against arrows or something. That would be interesting. would be cool. For example, Chainmail would have a bonus absorption against arrows. That would be cool. I'm afraid that if they nerf bows, it'll make archers useless. Sure, it's a bit dumb right now, but if they overdo it, you get the opposite problem of bows being too weak. Indeed. In the nation zero, there's a risk, but I'm sure to figure it out. I'm sure they're gonna find a good hot, a uh, good spot. Currently, I would just nerf the damage of of arrows by a little bit, just by a little bit. I'll simply make armor mitigate 
arrow fire better. That's all. On 1.3.1, lords have fians in armies. Batania starts snowballing like Vlandia in one year. They eat two empire factions, west or north in my game. Damn, son. They ain't pulling any punches. Also, I think this is a bug. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Are you fighting? Because this looks like a bar fight to me. Yeah. Hello. I accept the 5k and take Saeed the Falcon. Good. And now we will compare the profits of two companions that have no trade. One is a low tier 15k caravan and the other one is a high tier 22.5k caravan. We'll see which one makes us more money. I'm not exactly sure if that's an illegal public gathering. Probably not, though. Oh, yes, most likely a lot of people will go, No, oh, why my fians? Or simply go, eh, I'm going to play something else. Or try other troops. Uh, daily wages, such an annoying addition, holy fuck. Not when you make money, Mr. Gaxalat. Not when you make cheddar, simoleons. The Goda. No. Arena. Joint tournament. Let's go. How many caravans can I have? <sighs> Does it depend on the clan or something? Skippy the round. We're fighting against Ira. Oh, Ira is a big girl, right? She's a lord. Okay, she's fast, but she's not super destructive. Ah, there you go. And also, I think they should implement a system where arrows deal less damage against higher armor. Uh, this gives them the niche of sniping out the chaff, but not making high tier melee units obsolete. It just makes no sense that arrows can do so much damage to full armor. Uh, I agree, Bebop. That would actually give you a reason to bring out crossbowmen to deal with the high tier soldiers, with, uh, with the highly armored soldiers. I agree. That uh, would make sense to just nerf the... Arrows and maybe buff the crossbows a bit. There's a glitch when you buy in one city all shops, then sell. The AI cannot revert. Oh, I was no, not aware of that. Caravans are limited by the amount of companions you can have. You can have unlimited caravans, but each need... Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, my man. I remember now. You are correct. Okay, it's a 1v1v1v1. V1 v1 v1. Yeah, you guys go fight. Oh, come on, man. Man. Why? Why you gotta be so rude? Get stabbed in the neck, bruh. Ho ho. Yeah, that dude ain't doing shit. You gotta, he's gotta stab. I'm barely doing shit. Should be fine. Does that dude have a problem with his eyes? I don't know. I feel like he has a lot of sunscreen in his eyes or something. Oh, no, 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 no. That's war paint. Okay, that was literally war paint. My badsies. Damn, that sounds racist. Huh. Much like how uh, Clash of Kings has high tier armor, really feel strong. Yeah, but Clash of Kings kind of exaggerates, Meepop. There's not enough crossbow troops to deal with the high tier plate wearers. Can't bring myself to have fun at this game anymore, fuck's sake. You're talking about Battle Lord? Well, then go bye bye, play something else until more patches come through. Hello, uh, Dogantapelli. 
Greetings from Turkey. Good stream, I wish. Uh, by the way, your combat skills are great at arenas. I just spam shield bash. I don't think that kind of qualifies me at a good at arenas. We just turn this back against you to fight the other dude. What? Uh, yes. Yes. It's. I love the fact that the AI no longer dogpiles on you and actually tries to prioritize other AI. This guy's a big boy. I love his shoulder pads. Can I have your shoulder pads? No, don't see me in hell. I don't go there often. Ha. This dude's so tall. Can't aim for his head. Ooh. Ooh, that felt good. Get slapped upon. It's a game with a growing pain, technically. It's not even at a playable version yet. Change so much compared to the original, a lot of it is lame. Did they change so much from the original Cyborg? Also, welcome to the end. It really feels like Warband with a working economy. When they do this, for example, buying one faction all smithy shops, the AI can be starved because they cannot revert food shops, also they go starvation. That's nice, Hexagon. Bad and sad, but nice. We know of it. Yeah, it's almost like it's an early access and they still need to work on it. Huh. Hey, Dark Prince, is the game worth buying? I'm really interested. So far, it seems really worth it. Um, If you're ready to face a lot of bugs and not, you know, lacking in content, then yes. It feels like Warband with a working economy right now and better graphics. So from that perspective, if you're okay with that, Buy it. Okay, bitch. Let's do this. Let my guard... What? There you go. Let my guard then. For a second. Seven years in beta. Um, actually, it was just around half a year in beta. Closed beta, Yako. Right now, in the current state of the game, compared to what it does, high tier armor are a bit overpriced. Some of the armors in the lores were cost around 1 million apiece for the player, and compared to other armors, it's not that much of an increase to warrant the price. Okay, then don't buy yourself those armors, HD0. Perk system, meh? I actually like the perk system and the way they modified it. They're not working yet, but when everything's gonna be working on the character creation, on the character sheet, it looks like a Net improvement over Warband, Cyborg. But it's it's perfectly fine for us to disagree. If you if you see the perk system, meh, I'm okay with it. Limited workshops, meh. Well, it's simply a way for to limit yourself and not snowball out of control. But just keep working on your clan level, my man, and you're gonna get workshops all over the place in no time. Prices of the items are so broken, there's no balance in the pricing yet. Sadly, the mod fixing it isn't updated yet. Okay. I'm sure you can glitch the economy to everybody's advantage, my man. That's fine, though. Uh, what did we get? Was it a helmet? Yes. A round kettle of the kettle. Which we're going to be selling. We don't need that cash. Lay mass weapons. Lame-ass weapons. I mean, granted, they're pretty basic, and there's not a lot of variety. I mean, I haven't changed my weapons in quite a while, but again, early access is going to get added later. But I do hope they're going to be adding kind of a scaling to the game. As you progress to the game, you're going to be seeing more and more higher tier weapons. Because for right now, I just jump from a weapon tier 1 to a weapon tier 5 or 6. Well, 4 and 5. It's kind of hard to find a 6 one. So from that perspective, I need to love it. Sounds like this game is just not for you right now. Yes, Cyborg. I feel like this game is just not for you right now. Uh, the dev time of this game was bloated because they remade it so many times. It's more accurate to say it only had a few years of real development. 
Cope creep is a real issue with Hillsward? Eh. I don't care about that. I'm just going to play what we currently have and keep at it. Fadim is almost at 150 scouting. That's nice. How are we looking? High morale. Good. Uh, what is all the add a Lord of the Rings mod if you want fantasy type weapons? Sure. Sure. Yeah, I feel like this game's going to get real popular once it gets fully released. Once it gets fully released and the public has the modding tools, then it's going to go boom. Until then, we just got to help out the devs um, improve and fix it for that time. That's all. Have the game, but I prefer Warband, even though I'm playing this. Okay, then go play Warband. What do you like about the game, Cyborg? What do you like about Bannerlord in its current state? I mean, there must be something that you like, man. Damn. There goes those dudes. Hey, a looter got a killed. All injured. Come on, get him. Aw, oh, damn, son. Ah, looter injured my recruit. What you gonna do? Uh, you can fix a lot of these issues in a few minutes. Just go to Nexus and a few clicks. Done if you really want to have a workable game already. Yeah, there's a lot of mods out there already existing that can fix most of the problems with the game. Hey, Shepard boy. Uh, yeah, even with the game not being finished, it's a ton of fun and a great game. Uh, I can be with how long I waited for this to come out. I can deal with some bugs for a while. I also enjoy being a part of the development process. It's a ton more fun than watching from the outside like we were for years. This allows us to actually help them out and see what they're working on. Also give them suggestions. Uh, why is it so dark before you can attack hideouts? Meh. Cyborg, are you just gonna... Can you please tell us something that you like about Bannerlord? <sighs> okay, so you're gonna be that type of person. Yeah, he is trolling right now. Well, we're just gonna ignore him, I guess. Uh, most people playing are just in it to see the changes? Yeah. And, to be honest, a person who's never played Warband is gonna find this game very awesome. So, yeah, I'm all for it. Let's go to my Zia. I know that Fikion, there's cheap... Actually, yeah, let's do a quick stop at Fikion and uh, buy some cheap grain. Should be cool. Hey, Cotton Prince. Roaming the lands. And let's see. Uh, Rayma, we're paying 300. And she's making 427. And for Saeed, we're paying 250. So there's literally just a 50 gold difference. And he is making 328 for right now. Interesting. Got it. Most of us here have played or have watched Warband. Indeed, AG Zero. I was simply stating a random, random thing that I've noticed. True, I've never played Warband, but I love this game so far. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. Always toxic and titled players in every beta community. I'm sure they are. I'm sure there are a lot of people like that inside of Bacon. Yeah, there's no going away around that. Oh, so you do like something like the expanded map? There are some people out there complaining that it's not lore friendly. Even though I completely don't care. Because, yeah, I do find that it's a cool map. Well, at least you got something to like, Cyborg. So are you guys' favorite methods for defrosting frozen meat? Just let it sit there and defrost. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite method. It's going to be funny for the guys coming from Battle to Warband. 
guess. Oh, wow. And we found another weapon that I've created and it's a prize for the tournament. It's roundabout. I have no idea why I called it roundabout. No clue. I can't think of any other game out there that can replicate the feeling of a massive field battle that this game has. Indeed. No. No, I wasn't targeting anybody, HD0. I completely forgot who stated that was not Lord Flintley. I think you stated it, but nah. It was not targeted at anybody. It was targeted as the general public. Oh, hello! Whoa, she be fast! And furious. I forgot that it's a 4v4 battle. Okay. Whoa, shit! Okay, yeah, that, that dude's fast. Yeah, uh... Green... Theros. Theros is fast as fuck. Look at that one-handed skill. Oh my good lord of god Jesus. She is ho Oh good god. She be fast. Or he be fast. I don't care. Theros. Yeah, it's a he. Keep him at bay, brother. No! <laughs> Holy shit! It's like we're fast forwarding the video. Ooh! Stun locked! St stagger locked even! Careful guys! Oh Jesus Christ! She's killing the horse- he's killing the horses too. Can you please work together to stab that one Theros guy? Ah oh, yeah, you're bye bye. <laughs> Theros is a lord. Damn son! Shoot him with fire. He was dumb. He was dummy fast. Hey, we actually went into the next round somehow. Maybe we're the second uh, team. Also, it's me, or does the game look a little more crisp? It does look a little bit more crisp. Counter Prince, they did some uh, graphic improvements. They do graphic improvements each time uh, a new beta patch comes out. Uh, Total War? I'm sorry, Peppy, what? Wait, creator weapons can be tournament prizes? Yes, they can, Cross Counter Prince. Map could do with a few more bridges to help you get around, though. Yeah, I feel like it's strategically sound. I'll disagree. Can we turn on the hacks on the battle? Please don't. I, I'm gonna fight the dude. I'm probably gonna fight the dude in the finals. So, uh, let's see. Okay, this dude is slower than me, so that's gonna be something. Okay, Imperial Legionnaire, Comet Yacht Tits. Oh shit. Good stab. Nice. He yeah, has 270 and one handed. He's a literal god. Yeah, we're gonna fight Thar. Let's see, let's see. Oh, shocking! Theros won! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna fight him in the finals. Ooh, nice stab. Come on, man. Work with me here, as in go down. <sighs> okay, that was a good one. Yeah, if this dude gives me so many troubles, I think we're going to lose the finals. Whew! Place your bets, people. Place your bets. Will I win against Tharos, the bullet? Or will I lose? Shield bashing is so satisfying? It is. It's, it's the David versus Goliath fight that you wanted to see, ladies and gentlemen. Just block. 
<laughs> we'll see. Uh, Talor has a similar feel for the field combat, except you're not a commander. Exactly. Um, it doesn't have a similar feel, Peppy. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on the enemy. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Holy shit! He's so fast! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Oh, thank god for that stun- Oh my god! Woo! Oh, that stun- That stun bash. Oh my god, that shield bash is so good! <laughs> yes. Whew. Yes. Shut up, special. <laughs> that was bold. <laughs> Uh, the army system is a great improvement, uh, but just me that prefers Warband Inventory Bannerlord uh, just feels way too tedious and wordy. Ah, I'm okay with that. Should be tested for doping. He should be tested for everything. Okay, but that indeed confirms that Basher works. So the perk is active, it's working, and it's a godsend. <laughs> Warband inventory is pretty awful in my opinion, at least. I, I, I prefer this one. It's it's okay. I wish it would show me this a little bit more. I don't know, I would make it so each one has a interactable icon, but maybe that's going to be too hardcore. But it's cool. Uh, it's not modded, Kubik. It's, it's not modded. That was his attack speed. With 270 one-handed. That was his actual attack speed. Also, the Sword of Roundabout is only worth 1.2k. So as I said, there were no exaggerations in the smithing. This is a weapon created by me. So that's good. Whew. Hey, hey Martin, welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? That was hardcore and nice. Also, great for the grain god. Sorry. There. No, no, no worries. That was good. Uh, this inventory needs to be a bit tweaked. At this point, you just have a limited inventory if you buy a few extra pack animals. Mm. This is a 1.4 bug, uh, something to do with the new perks. Mm -hmm. Considering that most characters have like 50, 251 head, it makes sense that 270 would be godlike. Boys, boys, I think, let's find ourselves the dudes with the best swordsmanship. So this dude has 150, 120, 130, break skull, 120. Did you just unlock a guy to death? I did. Well, I stabbed him in the neck, but still, via stun lock. Considering that most characters have like, okay, uh, so my school is making us download pretty much malware that locks up our PC to do an online test, so that's fun. That sounds dumb as fuck, Martin. It's already here that. Reminds me of the 180 heroes mod with that attack speed. Uh. You want to mod a character for 500 athletics and race a horse? Mm-hmm. Did I get turbo slapped to death? Well... HD zero, you're just gonna have to wait for the VOD. Haven't played this in a while, uh, but rather they nerfed the fuck out of donating prisoners, they did nerf the fuck out of that. Find this Taros, dude? Why should I find Taros? That's not over here, really? Was it TH? Yeah, TH, Taros. So Taros has 270 on one handed. I think most dudes. Actually, no. Is he a special case?
Okay, I guess he's an anomaly. He's the only one with hundred uh, with 270. Uh, they nerfed the Kuzite Con Guard down from 280 to 260. I, In which patch? Cyborg. Imagine being able to marry Thauros and getting him as a companion in our army. Ooh, that'd be sexy. I'm very sad about the nerf. Uh, yes, yes, he was too good, but they didn't need to nerf prisoners that much. Oh, okay. He really was a special case. I've never seen anyone above 200. Mm -hmm. Banisets seem to be dictated by their last name. I'm just not sure if it has fixed values. Uh, Thoris could get you to download the game marriage mod. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, uh, Brung, Robber Hills, Outcast, Wanderer, Black. Has no skills. Okay. Dibana, the fuck. Farim. No one handed. The Brave, 100. Blacktooth, 100. Blood Axe, maybe? 150. Okay, Loric Blood Axe, 150. Uh, Coal Biter's 150 as well. Of the Hills, nope. Rhyma was 120. Golden, 180. Kilam the Golden is at 180. He was at Onira. I know what Onira is. Shouldn't, it's not that really that far away. We're going to go to Onira and maybe get this guy and see how he spars. It's interesting that it seems much more common to find insanely high archery or two-handed skills than it is one-handed. Seems so. And I've seen that archers with um, over 250 are already kicking ass pretty, pretty well. I think that was the highest one-handed skill that I've seen. Yeah. Side the Falcon 120, not bad. Fair hair? Nah. And. Okay, let's go to Onira. What am I doing right now? I was looking for a companion with a shit ton of. Where was Onira? Huh? Wasn't it a city over here? Oh, there it is. I'm an idiot. Was more to the east rather than to the south. Okay, forest bandits. Yeah, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I still have some uh, some looters. Sorry, not looters. Recruits that are not leveled up yet. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna be pitting them against forest bandits. Uh, 270s max for NPCs. Thank God. I hope I never meet. I hope I never meet Theron again, or Theros, or whatever his name is. Maybe those zero stat companions are blank companions like Anson and Leslie who can level the way you want, or they're just bugged. I think they're just bugged, HD Zero. So, Ching Bling, currently looking for the most powerful one handed dude. Because we've just seen a 270 one handed dude in action, and he kicked Nards. Don't think companions ever have over 200 in a skill prior to recruitment? Uh, they're. So before Swordsman, uh, the companion with Swordsman in their title, had the highest uh, combat stats. And I think they were at 250 one-handed, but they nerfed it. Well, they made the perks work, actually. <sighs> highest stats at base seem to be 200. I think Shieldmate have it at a two-handed. Mm -hmm. In POP, 455. Well, this is not POP. There's Farim's scouting ability. And what do we got here? Half food consumption and 5% faster movement in forests. Or half food consumption and 5% faster movement in deserts. We're going to go with forests since we're more in the north than in the south. So that's going to be good. There. POP is suicide. POP is incredibly... F it's an incredibly fun mod once you know what you're doing. I am, And I am doing a foot run. Time to get your own turbo slapper? Dear God, just think about when your own player has that amount of one-handed. Oh, oh, masturbation would be so good, HD Zero. Do all the perks work now? Even the bow perks? No, Sakinishi. They do not all work. Oh, more than half of them so all still inactive. You can meet him on the battlefield with a start war with Southern Empire. Oh yes, I can totally meet him on the battlefield and I'm going to be killing him 
from 50 miles away with a crossbow. POP does look fun, but my gosh, that early game broke me. Oh, um, as long as you know what to fight and what to stay away from, you'll be good to go, shepherd boy. Try in the early game to fight against uh, Red Brotherhood, um, Forest Bandits, Looters, and once you get some men at a decent level, go Mist Mounted and Van Vanscary, and uh, you'll be good to go. You'll be just fine. Is there a mod to increase max class tier? Clan tier. I uh, don't know. PP skill levels were jacked up. Some skills don't even. Okay. Right. Attack the Vigil. Let's go, brothers. We will fight. To the last man. Hmm? Uh, Ching Bling, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to Hitpoint Inn. My name's Revolt. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. And drinks around me today. I haven't said haven't said the full the full saying in a while. That should do it. You recognize me. Okay, good BB. I sadly don't recognize you. Well, what you gonna do? I think that was my issue. I normally play Viking Conquest Floors or Civil Stacks, and when I tried POP, I was totally lost. Might explain some things, mate. Over I can't believe I overshot that. Damn. Got him. Slap him, silly. Don't run away, you cowards. They're running away, the cowards. Damn. I think I overshot it. One sec. Do I sell picks on Patreon? No, I don't. No, no, you definitely have any mixed then. I make guides on YouTube, though. Maybe you know me from there. They're apparently reworking most of the perks, so I haven't been worrying about fixing their current ones. Yes, correct. They're going to be taking them one patch at a time. So in 1.4, they dealt with the one-handed perks. Uh, probably next time, they're going to be dealing with the others. You will often on the map in Pendor see quite very big armies that seem to be not part of any faction. It might seem like they're trying to fight you, but they're chasing you down because they want to give you quests. No, Martin, you dumb schnitzel puff. Don't lie like that. Don't give that man hope. I can't wait for Rev to start an OnlyFans. I have no idea what OnlyFans is, Cotton Prince. Oh, it's it's a stream for OnlyFans or for only subscribers or something, stuff like that. Nah, son. Nah, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. Don't know if I'll go back to Warband at all now that Bannerlord is out, but maybe I'll give it a go. Uh, P.O.P. is still worth it, Shepherd Boy. Hello, Soju Fresh. Welcome back to the end. Hmm? But I'm curious, so I know to stay away from it. What is a OnlyFans? That's exactly what it is. You should look it up. I don't know what that is. Again, no clue. Could you please enlighten me? From what HD Zero says, it's something dumb. Or something that I lack interest in. Only fans is a porn site. Oh, really? Okay, then no, I'm never gonna be doing one. Okay. Well, there's your answer. I'm not into porn. Well, I'm into porn, but I'm not into making porn. It's a place to sell softcore porn. Okay, no, I'm never gonna do it. OnlyFans is a streaming service made to be dedicated for OnlyFans. You have some dedicated viewers, so you should probably start one. No, Martin, I should not start one. Or, hey, we just made 400 gold. What? What? Who is baking the cheddar? Right, Mama, baby, he's doing 806. Nice. Nice. Okay, so Raima started to uh, make cash. That's good. It's more like a site where people can sell their nudes. Uh-huh. Cool. Not interested. Does It doesn't have to be porn? Still not interested. I mean, you can sell any kind of pics you like. Still not interested. S no. Thought Warband looked fine half a year ago when I was playing it, but getting used to Warband, it looks like it's... This looks like shit now. Still age pretty okay. 
You should try POP. Uh, no, Gubby B. What? <laughs> you make a lot of money with OnlyFans? No, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm not gonna be doing whatever that is. Kilam the motherfucking gold. He is, or will be, mine. Uh, we need a hit point in OnlyFans where you sold pics of yourself dressed as a bartender. No. I don't, Cotton Prince. No, Gibby B. And <laughs> a sign of bacon? No. It's actually rejected, not confirmed. You haven't tried out the major mods for Warband. They're worth playing. There's some insanely well-developed ones at this point. I don't think anyone plays vanilla anymore. Indeed. Feet picks? Nah. Naughty Romansky e-boy will sell his sword for coin for the... <laughs> you fucking idiot. Ah, yes, yeah, schnitzel puffs. But no, no, in all seriousness, I'm never going to be touching that shit. Mm -mm. The dedication of this chat and trying to pimp out Rev is disturbing. I I know. I have no idea why they're doing it. You're more into your lobes personally? Well, you'll never see mine. You'll never see mine. You would pay for seeing me. Nah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Ew. Bathwater. You, nah. Ugh, that's nasty, dude. You you don't want my bath water. Mm -mm. Dude. We're fast. What the fuck? How are we this fast? Damn. My chat is composed of weird people. Yes, special. It's uh, something that is quite out of my control. Sony wants your ear peak, ear picks. Mm, sure they do. <laughs> Keep her bath. <laughs> Stop it! Just makes me barf. You, you, you want to see my ears? You, you, you I, I think I can show you guys a peak. Nah, nah, not nah, gonna show you. High walking skill? Hell yeah. People were saying it doesn't really do much. Eh. We'll see. Armor's heavy when you're on a city clothes. You're pretty fast. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Where's that? You're fast as fuck if you have a really high and low armor. Mm. You haven't really seen my ears yet, shepherd boy. Well, I'm actually not hiding them. I mean, I just itch. I just scratched them from time to time. It's not really that big of a deal. I'm such a tease. Oh, Pleh. let's stop this discussion. It's annoying and all over the place. <laughs> Morons. Swear to God. Swear to God. Alright, you take that horse off. You better take that horse off, boy. You are now in my infantry department. Whoop. only shows his ears on his sub exclusive Discord. Uh huh. They're gonna creepy. Let's talk about. No, let's not talk about that. If you start a conversation about that, I'm gonna be timing you out. Come back to the stream when we're talking about bestiality. We're not. Cakes. I'm going to show yours because he's secretly filthy tree rat. <laughs> nah, I'm not. But I am a vampire. Blah. That's just the Kirchitz on Friday night. Great. Rev is secretly Noldor confirmed. Well, they gotta make a friend somewhere. Old Sumter Horse. Do Sumter Horses go old now? Is that a thing that happens? Okay, we have five Sumter Horses. I'm gonna write that down to remember that shit. We got five Sumter horses. And I'm going to find another old Sumter horse. We'll check that out. Can't imagine what the YouTube only viewers must think. Every episode has relatively normal chat and suddenly just only fans and bestiality. Uh-huh. 
We be dumb dumb sometimes. We be the dumb a dumb. Ooh, shit, sure, that's a good price. We sold my fish. Old is just a modifier for horses that you pick as loot. Hopefully that's the case, because old Sumter horses do not provide inventory space. <laughs> God damn it, Martin. Stop it. Stop picking on the Kurgits. Or the Kuzait, as they're called now. Boop. Done. Minventory. Uh, Kilam. You are in the first division, right? Good. And you'll remain in the first division, for I wish to see thee in action. Also, we're going to go into the tournament and beat shit up. It can. It can get weird sometimes. That's hard to stop you guys. Peter. Peter has 180... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he has 180 swordsmanship. 130, so I don't think we're going to be fighting any big boys for right now, which is good. Let's see how this goes. Do you want to get bigger as a streamer, or do you like the current size of your channel? Uh, I'd like to get bigger as a streamer, Cotton Prince. I would like to reach a point where I'm capable of making a living off of Twitch and quitting my full-time job. And, well, stream as a full-time Twitch streamer slash YouTuber. There you go. Maybe someday, man. Maybe someday. But I'm, I think I'm considered boring among uh, the majority of the viewership. Because I'm the type of dude that just takes it slow. I'm pretty corny with my jokes. I'm pretty lame with my jokes. I much prefer the the dad jokes. Um, so I'm not expecting to get super big. But hey, we'll see. I'll just wait and see. Nice! Oh shit, we get to level. It's been ages. It's been ages since I gained a level. Hmm. Uh, 74 viewers, that's a lot more than regular. No, it's fine, Bebop. Fund city where spice generates it called Yakis, and it's in Osirai Desert City. Okay, x -Gan. I'll check it out. Due to educational content, was I came, to, uh, came here for. Oh, perfect, Peppy. Then I'm the right guy for you. Indeed, Yui. I'm, I'm, I'm understand that the people that are staying here and are watching um, are the type of dudes that prefer it a little bit on the slow pace, more conversations and stuff like that. I was talking more about a majority group. I mean, a major the majority of Twitch viewers are a little bit younger, on the younger side, and they prefer a more fast-paced, energetic, funny mother bucker. Um, I'm not that type of dude. And again, please don't con don't take my statements like all kids like hyperactive streamers. That's not true. I'm just saying that most of them. Uh, well, we're to grow these days. You have to make OnlyFans is the only way. No, I don't think so, Cakes. Hmm. I'm sorry. A porn account and make porn. Yes. And indeed, it is not true. They're just pulling my leg. They're making fun. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -bum. I hope you'll be able to do that. Though, admittedly, I'd really miss the interactivity. I'm still going to keep interacting with as many people as I can. And if I miss statements that are in the chat, I tell people to just copy-paste it. Think you encountered a glitch? Worm on the shark doesn't have seem to be a human, not a shark. Yes, quite a big glitch. Uh, it's getting generated after 200 days. Okay. As I said, aside bacon, the majority. Just take a bunch of ADHD meds and they'll love you in no time. Mm. You prefer sexy streamers? Please exit stage right, Gabibi. I don't think this is the place for you. Hello, Chris Boog. Welcome to the end. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
Um, don't tell me we got you into trouble with the wife. No, you didn't get me into trouble with the wife. Hmm? About the porn account, blah, blah. Yeah, nah, my wife is very understanding. And can take a joke. So don't you worry your sweet head, brother. Don't you worry thy sweet head. Get off me! Oh, shit. Wasn't close enough there. Another stab in the necks. In the neck of the woods. Oh, come on. There you go. Down he goes. Uh, zoomers need streamers. Load on flashy enough that they break through the haze of energy drinks and Adderall. Uh, which generation are the Zoomers, Martin? I see you're using a GTX 1066 gig, and that's really encouraging to me. I had some trouble getting streams going, and I have the same GPU, but only 8 gigs of RAM. I have 16 gigs kit coming in on Wednesday, since I was finding that RAM seems to be my bottleneck. Where do you see getting such a quality stream on specs that are pretty close to what I'm about to be running? I'm glad to hear it, Shepard Boy. Hopefully you're going to be having a awesome, speedy, destructive PC. Hope she supports you in your future exotic endeavors. <laughs> I don't have any future exotic endeavors. I do have endeavors, though. So you embrace the spam. Here's my favorite for you. It takes more than one mango to see tango. I have no idea what that means. And I don't embrace the spam. I embrace people copy-pasting some of their intelligent questions and statements, Pappy. I'm sorry, what did you say? Mocha. Helmet for the helmet god? Helmet for the helmet god. Kilam, you are now have the helmet of Helm. I don't know what that is. Still have problems running it. Try moving it to an SSD. It made it run very much better for me. Um, yeah, I currently don't have it on an SSD drive, and, it work, and it's working as you see it. Apparently, if you have an SSD, it's better there. Just need to sit in your corner and listen to depressing music that is in modern rap or that shit. I'm sorry to hear th that, Spectre. Hopefully you're enjoying such depressing music. Please don't give bad advice, Case. I really appreciate it. Ah, but my curiosity kills me. I'll bite. What does energy drink combined with Adderall do? What the fuck? No. I have no idea what that is. You're an unborn child? Damn. Your mother's belly has a good Wi-Fi reception. Heart attacks? Oh, god damn. Please don't do that. I'm referring to Martin's message? Uh. Okay. Please don't do that. Sounds dangerous and stupid. Wait here for some time. Okay, let's check current companion. Okay, so we're at max companion limits. Um, at next clan tier, I might add another caravan. I'll think about it. I think the best number would be seven. We'll see. So, Rev, even your moderators are selling feed pick. You need to get on the gr grind, dude. Jesus. Ah, the hope for humanity is slightly, slightly going bye-bye for me. Just go. What the fuck? There's another tournament? Is it the same reward? What the fuck just happened? I actually waited for five seconds or something, shit like that? I waited for a soldier to heal up. I guess we're gonna go for some Imperial shoulder pads now. Yeah, I don't know. The fuck? Need that money because I can't get a job at the moment? Mm. Right. 
They increase the number of companions you can hire. Uh, it increases based on your clan tier, my man. I'm just throwing shit. Oh god, why? Wait, does that dude have a shield? Nope. He has something better. Le Boenaro. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I'm ashamed. I shot my own boy. Uh oh. Huh? What? Um, uh, with an emulator. Uh, yes, you can connect the PlayStation to a monitor. No, I don't... You don't need a TV as long as your monitor has a HDMI um, port. You should be able to connect a um, PlayStation or console, no problem. Oh, well, of course, as long as the cable of the PlayStation monitor is a HDMI as well. That's your decision, Spectre. I think there's a bug that causes the tournaments to be able to play multiple times. Mm. What's my largest concurred viewer count ever? A hundred and... Twenty-eight? I want to say a hundred and forty, but I'm just going to go with a hundred and twenty-eight. Okay, Martin. Good for you. Our long bike ride ahead of me, so I'm gonna have to get going. Have fun, everyone. That sounds very fun, Cotton Prince. Hope you enjoy your hour long bike ride. Yes? Indeed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to riding my bike as well. I wanna ride my bicycle, I wanna ride my bike. Yeah. Goodbye, SRI recruit. <laughs> the Coronials? Eh, I guess. I was actually talking um, with my wife about that. That most likely there's going to be a baby boom because of the coronavirus. Holy shit, I'm dead. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead! Peter, please! Mercy, Peter! Yes, holy shit, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, you dead from a shield bash. Gen Z was over in 2016. I. Karooners, uh, Coomers, I'm going to take in, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Coviders. Coviderbiders. Um, the wife and I have a coronial on the way. Uh, got pregnant in February, though, it was before. Right before things got crazy with the virus here in the USA. Uh, Shepherd Boy, congratulations. Congratulations. I hope it's a healthy healthy boy or girl baby. baby yeah let's go with baby because i think it's too early for you guys for you guys to tell if it's a boy or girl but so congratulations all right next up imperial heavy horseman jump attack Ooh, okay that worked somehow i was fairly sure that i'm going to receive a stab in the gut Oh, okay, that didn't go well. There we go. All right. Imperial padded shoulders of imperial padded shoulder paddedness. It's a thing, look it up. Yes. I think tournaments are the... Well, actually, nah, 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 that's a lie. Um, 
Battles in the late game versus armies give you the most rep. The most renown. Thanks, everyone. We don't know the gender yet, but should be next month. We already have a 16-month-old boy, so we're not sure if we'd rather have another boy for him to play with or a girl, so we have one of each. Well, hope, uh, hope your kids will bring you a lot of joy, shepherd boy. Now that our performance matters, uh, it'll be whatever it is. Indeed. So let's see here. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> that looks so wonky. Wonky and funky. Right. That's good to have an heir to continue the bloodline. Sure. Uh, whenever I try to make a budget build, I end up with a 1,500. Um, I'm dumb. Is that pounds? Build? Or is that a euro? No, that's euro. Okay. It's pretty hardcore, my man. I actually bought mine with uh, $1,000. Yes. My computer. My setup. Done. Let's get the fuck out of here before another... Actually, do they have any good armor pieces that I could give my boy here? Or should I just wait? Helmets. Can we please not? Can you please give me a chest piece or something? 2K, it's too much. I'm gonna buy one later. Oh, but I need to buy him a shield. That is true. Need to buy my boy here a shield. You know what? Give me that. I'm gonna give you the Manhunter. Cause that's what you're gonna be, brother. You will be the Manhunter. Yeah. We're gonna get you a Night Shield. Wait, what, what the fuck's wrong with that Night Shield? It's chewed. It's chewed upon. Okay, how about something faster? 82, 91. Okay, yeah, that's that should be good. And we're gonna give him, give him throwing weapons, and it should be fine. I have no idea what you guys are saying. Yeah, no clue. Too technical for me. Do we give him? The knives to throw. Man, simple javelins for 1,100. I think we're going to make him some javelins. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Out of dodge. And go to... Sure, Seronia. Let's go northwards a bit. Practically, we got to get money to buy ourselves some workshops from here on out. Sight of the Falcon received athletics. Cool. We're at 24 soldiers. Everybody has a horse. 23. Oh, shit. We need another horse. Psotai. Do you have a horse? For Actually, no. It's a bad idea to buy horses from villages. They're very expensive. You want a 48 armor helmet, but it'll only cost 270k? Well, I'm sure you're going to be making the money or finding in a looter. In a loot stash. In the late game. But yes, I know that you were making a point that, oh my god, the prices are so bad. That's exactly your voice, by the way. Uh, buy Smitchy, because City will have better items. Yeah. Speaking of, I should go to Makeb. In Makeb, I should find... Hello? <laughs> uh, looks like a bird pooped on your head. Ah, uh, but no. Um, probably gonna go to Mecca because I know there's a smithy there and uh, should find some good stuff there. Also, we leveled up. Let's go for... I think we're gonna go for more zoom... for more one-handed. Or do we go for zoom zoom around the enemy zoom? Hmm. I'd like to add some extra points to these departments a bit 
leadership roguery trade and that stuff is perfectly fine as it is. Uh, the lower the NM, the better. Okay, yeah. So, so, and no blue. Okay, since crossbow and athletics will have space, we're going to go for an extra point or two. One-handed. Should be fine. Arena first to join the tournament. Let's see what we're going for. In the matchup, you'll have bows, sabers, and eastern armors. I don't care. <laughs> yes, this is one of ours. The stupidly priced sword, which was not stupidly priced. And yes, it does have a bugged grip. Let's see if we can win it. <laughs> Man, our our swords are famous. Also, we are fighting against Romund. The magic sword. Uh, Romund has 190 one-handed skills, so that ain't bad. That ain't bad, son. Bagai the outcast. I'm sure he's going to be fine. Sicanus. 150. Okay, yeah, we should be we should be Gucci. Let's go. Two handed pole arm? Eh, it's fine. Yeah, I verified there's no turbo slappy this time around. Get off me booty! Whoa! He is, tur he is pretty turbo slappy. God, he looks so silly with that get up. Get off me. Good. Do you know that sword you make could be a tournament prize? Oh yes, all weapons that you make can be tournament prizes. Which is kind of sad because they, you can't really find the good shit. Oh god. Oh god, yes. Oh hell yeah. What? Oh, he's not dead? Shit. Thought he went down. Okay, let's help my boy out. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Get slapped, bruh. Now that we have a working weapon, we should be fine. Yeah, the dude with the... Uh-oh. Mm, oh! Oh! Oh my good god! I'm sure he's fine. Cool concept for a magic sword. The grip is not connected to the rest of the sword, but is held in the middle with, like, magic or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, that dude. That hurt me. That that hurt my soul when I saw that shit. He's perfectly fine, though. That is a flesh wound. Damn. Get slapped, bruh. Bruh. I want the black colored shoulder pants. I look like quite a regular soldier boy. Not the rapper. There you go. Just a regular soldier. Nothing big. Tis but a scratch. Purple Dynamite X or Purple Dynamite 10. Thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point 10. And we're fighting against Rumund. All right, Robund, let us dance. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, one more shield bash and he should go down. One, two, there you go. The javelins are made with thick, hardened rubber. Mm -hmm. How am I shield bashing? You hold the right mouse button to block, and you press E. E for Edward. Also, hello, Tank Chit. Or Tank Itch. Thank Itch. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Uh, name also my recent sword, Thick Boy, as a joke, since I made the pommel almost as big as my head, just for the stats. Mm-hmm. 
It's an X, not to 10, but I love watching this game since I cannot play it. Sure, Purple Dynamite, you're welcome to sit around and chat and watch. Or just alert, it's your choice. Stupidly priced sword has been acquired. Also, for those who haven't seen it, I'm going to equip it and take it to the city for you guys to check it out. It is just 764, so it's not a super hardcore one. Look at that, brothers. It is magical. Let's go into the arena. I'll show it to you there. Not in the arena itself, next to it. Oh, right, civilian clothing. Fuck it. Never mind. Where do I keep my military stuff? Wait, is it a civilian gray sword? Let me just check. Hell yeah, it is. Awesome. Yeah, back to the arena we go. Alright, so. Sweet. Swing. Yeah. Look at that beauty. It is bugged to hell, though. Shwa. Shwa. I am a Jedi Knight. So, yeah. I think this is the only grip that's currently being affected. Ba -ba -ba. Invisibru. Oh, I should have called it Invisibro. Um, Mook. But I'm gonna sell it. I don't really care for it, so. Shatterton. Alright, let's. Oh, I, did I check the prices over here? I don't think I did. Shit prices. Got it. Good, good price for grain to buy. Yeah, let's go for some. Good. I've only played Warband, but this looks decent. It's decent. It's it's Warband with better graphics and a working economy in the early game. Because late game, everybody's starving. It's bugged. Welcome to the end, Sefi plays. Magic living in Norway? Is it a good thing or a bad thing, Martin? It'd be cool to live in Norway. Well, maybe a little bit of the extra cold, a little bit too cold for my taste. Yeah, but there wouldn't be there wouldn't be any bugs. I'm okay with not being any bugs. Norway's the most beautiful country you've ever been to. I'd like to visit Norway and see it in all in all of its glory. Also, we wanted to go to Makeb, which is further north. The Southern Empire have war with Kuzait. They dangerously bordered to Kuzate. I don't know. It's a matter. No bugs. Uh, mosquitoes in Norway are way worse than there are in Florida. Those things are vicious. No clue. I was expecting since it's a cooler climate. Um, there may be not that be that many bugs. Maybe not to be that many bugs. Bookman. Bookman. Up uh, here. No, 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 infantry, don't charge. I lied. Shield wall it up, brothers. There. Norwegians and, and Swedes are apparently some of the happiest people on Earth. I would love visiting there. I, I guess, I don't know. Beautiful. God, I love having blunt bolts. So dumb. Go! Fuck him up, brothers! Ooh, damn. You got this, right? You got this, right? Good. Crusade's kind of broken. Hello, hello, music. Welcome back to the end, dude. They're very, very powerful on the open field, that is correct. I'm not exactly sure how they fare in a siege, though. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
Uh, funny thing about Florida, they have Florida, man. I'm sure they do, man. I'm sure they do. Florida, man, be outrageous. Not as good, but still pretty decent. Cool. Pop, pop. Any level ups? Okay, Killam didn't die. That's good. And Imperial Archers leveled up. That's also good. Alright, Killam. How you fa you should be faring fine. Next stop. Northwards to Umbrella, most likely. Can I catch those looter guys? Looter guy. Why did people start talking about Norway? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I think somebody mentioned that they would really, really want to visit Norway. Or something like that, Source Martin. Oh, come on. Let me touch that. Black Schmask, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to Hit Point In. You can confirm that it's a pretty nice place? Cool. Glad to hear it. Water. Ah. Look, my soldier! Get moving! Look, man! Move us up! Make a shield wall! Make a goddamn shield oh, no. wall? Oh, Imperial Recruit, you gotta get out of here. And see, just Con Guard are OP. I have 100 Con Guard. They beat 200 Garrisons where I lost three, 30 Cons. Mm -hmm. Okay, Exagon. Or should I call you Exicon? Hilarious, I know. I'm here all week. Okay, this time around, they... Didn't reach our lines. Congratulations, archers. You did your job. <sighs> right. Five more looters for the looter god. Done. And catch. It's the mother load. I can't. I gotta fight them. Uh, yes, Exagon. I've tested that and I was wrong. They kill. It, at least in my playthrough, they're lethal. I've lost soldiers to AutoCal. And so, I... I'm not sure if my playthrough is bugged or if they're still lethal, but they're lethal to me. Oh, nice. This is a good battle. So from my experience, Batani and Vlandia uh, get dumpstered by Kuzade on the field. I went on realistic with one... Um, with a quarter versus Landians on open field. That's awesome, dude. What's with this place? Is is it like a like a snowstorm, but also it's nighttime or something? It's weird. I uh, see you're sure from Romania. I spent five years of my childhood living in Belarus, so it's awesome to see someone from Eastern Europe on Twitch. I miss that part of the world. Haven't been back to that area since like two thousand and eight. Well. If you don't mind the communist uh, architecture, it's a perfectly awesome place to live in. Mm hmm. I think they did, man. Go! Whew. Ooh, that is kind of. Kind of. Intimidating to see a lot of dudes just swinging weapons at you. Yeah. 
Ooh, baby. Lame. Okay, okay, we're out of there. Assault to point to Renown, that's not bad. Uh, we have three level ups. Probably from archers, I think. Yeah, archers. How the, how's the COVID situation here? People are staying inside. We have uh, um, more people getting healed than um, confirmed cases per day, so I think we're on the right track. That's all I have to say. Oh yeah, the old Soviet buildings. Uh, we lived in Minsk, so I saw so much of that. It doesn't make much sense, but sometimes something about those buildings makes me feel at home, even though they're not very nice. Um, well, I've been living here my entire life, so I'm very accustomed to the architecture. I consider it home. Um, when I see these types of buildings, I know that there are a lot of good families living in them. So. I like the architecture. <laughs> to my taste, Finland is too close to Russia. When World War Three happens, Finland's got it, got hit first. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, dude, when World War Three happens, I think everybody's gonna get hit very hard with big bombs, and then World War Four will be fought with sticks and stones. All right, Martin. Have a good night, my man. Peace. of the north high morale prisoners forest night should be able to catch them though Akragora is getting burned to a crisp and Kilam finally learned that he has feet it's amazing this might break my bones but worlds will never hurt me mm -hmm. good for you man I think it was Einstein yes Hey, I have the same problem as well, Gabby B. I have 16 gigs, but only DDR3. And I need to upgrade my uh, uh, motherboard. And the next upgrade for my motherboard is DDR4 only, so I have to replace the, all of my RAM as well. Okay, let's fight. I get what you're saying. It's nostalgic for me since I've been back in the USA for 20 years now. And I think I miss the people uh, more than anything. Most Americans really must understand the former USSR and the people that live there. I guess there are still problems and misunderstandings. Uh, DDR5 is apparently coming out next year. I'm probably not going to care. Here in the US, we're still getting tons of new cases, yet some of the states are starting to open up. Rip to us. That sounds like a you problem. We're going to be opening up as well on the 15th of May. Or when in May? I think I'm in May. Oh, we're going to be opening up on the 15th of May, but um, we're going to do a slow step-by-step step, step open. So the schools are not opening up, um, stuff like that. We're going to just going to take it one step at a time. Yep, yeah, probably you're right, sh Shipper Boy. It's going to be a while since it's going to be worth going to next step. Okay, my archers are killing it. So I think we gotta tell them to hold fire. Probably to hold fire. Uh, we'll tell the archers to hold fire so the infantry get some more experience. That's all Florida is reopening. No schools, just one type of business at a time. Still too early though. We haven't slowed it down enough. Uh, you agree? I agree. Um... In a best case, actually, no, no, I'm not even going to open the COVID subject. It's poison. Plus, we're ending the stream. It's been three hours.
Okay, so gotta go to Umbrella, gotta go to Macib someday. This is gonna be it for today, guys. If you guys uh, like what I do, hit that follow button. It really helps me out. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. Uh, if you're on YouTube, um, I have multiple guys in playthroughs that you guys can check out. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I put in new content. I try to put in new content every few days. And Shipperboy, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, staying with me. Until now. See you next time. Bye-bye.